we're looking at red blood cells and white blood cells in the bloodstream. Uh, red blood cells are these fellows with the nice bright white circles with the dark centers. What we want to see is that they're nice and round and that they're moving through fairly gently through the bloodstream. We're also looking at the space in between the cells. We like to make sure that it's nice and clean and not full of a whole bunch of undesirable stuff. Um, these are white blood cells. So white blood cells are part of your immune system. There's five uh, immune cells in the bloodstream. This one is called a monocyte. It's a little bit bigger. These are Pac-Man cells, so they have a nice C in the middle. What they'll come and do is that when lymphocytes are neutrophils, so this is a lymphocyte, lymphocytes like to find viral cells, but when lymphocytes go out into the bloodstream, what they like to do is tag cells that they don't like, and then these monocytes will come and clean them all up like Pac-Man. So when we're looking at the live blood cell, what we want to see is how healthy does your bloodstream look? So we like to see that your Red blood cells have nice dark centers, that they're moving around well, that when they bump into each other, the cell membrane that is around them, which is the right circle, is very resilient and moving around. What you'll see with these ones is that they're getting caught on something. So they form little teardrops. So we, when, with supplements, what we'll do is improve digestion just so that you're breaking food particles down a little bit better so that there's less um, undesirable things in the bloodstream for these white blood, or sorry, red blood cells to be caught on. If we look around a little bit, we'll look for a neutrophil. So this fella's red blood cells look quite good. Neutrophils like bacterial infections. So there are far more neutrophils in the human bloodstream just because historically humans have been bothered by bacterial infections long before we were bothered by viral infections. So they like to go around and try and find bacterial infections. This is a lymphocyte. So again, they like viral infections. These two cells will go around and tag cells that they don't like. And then the monocyte, which was the one with the C, will come and clean it. Here's a cell that doesn't have quite as much iron in it as it could. So sometimes if you're, you know, not anemic, but if you're, you could stand to use a little bit more iron, what the cells will look like is they'll look shiny in the middle. So every once in a while, what we do is we'll use supplements to go through and make sure that the bloodstream is looking as good as possible. So here's a neutrophil, here's a neutrophil. And that's what we like to see on a live blood cell. And what we can do then is we can determine whether, how long we need to do nutritional supplements, if there are nutritional supplements that would be helpful for you to feel better. And is there anything that we're missing? These don't diagnose pathologies. So your medical doctor would have blood tests that would diagnose pathologies. What live blood cell does is it allows us to determine how functional or how optimal is the bloodstream looking. Usually what we'll do is we'll do the live blood cell on the second visit. We usually use the live blood cell to determine that the supplements along with your symptoms when you come in and tell us that you're feeling quite a bit better. We use the live blood cell just to make sure that we have cleaned up what we need to be cleaning up and that we are identifying other things that we may not be looking for at the time being, but we usually can tell in a very short period of time when you come in. What we need to be doing, here's an eosinophil. Eosinophils, they look like kind of like aliens. They're very shiny and then they have two big spaces in them that look like eyes. They are, they look for allergies. So they like their allergy cells. Usually we'll see quite a few of them in some people in the springtime. What these guys do is they look around for, they, they just, tell us what's going on and then what they'll do is they'll um, release mast cells, which mast cells hold the histamine. So they're just kind of the agent 